So you just got the amp hooked into it? I just got the 10K, yeah. Okay, oh, 10K, wow. You wanna give me a walk around real quick? Uh, yeah. Uh, Sean's taking your quarter. 218 Sundown Baskets of Audio Q Motors. Um, Terramp 10K. And four DECA batteries, like the North Stars. Tuning? Um, I think the lowers, I don't know what it is. It's all right. Tune low and tune high for a six, pretty much, yeah. This is fresh recon, so recon Thursday. Really? Okay. So who built this? Did you or? Joel Walker. Joel Walker? Okay. Dude, this is solid. Wow, I like it. Man, it looks good. Yeah. What vehicle is this? Uh, 2001 Chevy Blazer. Chevy Blazer? Okay. And what's your electrical like? Um, 320 alt Apex and the four DECA batteries. Four DECA? Okay. Alright. Can I see your alternator? Yeah, appreciate it. It's a mess under the hood. It's alright, man. Got a little higher notes or anything yeah, maybe a little that was 23 wow the rebase version hey, of this got one he was having problems with his huh? he was having problems with his Who? jp just got the other amp in huh? just got the other amp in you did? went from a 3k to a 10k
Yeah, lows and highs. Yeah, play, Both I was, worlds. I play like I was playing 20 on this amp. Really? And then wow. It goes straight up. Yeah. I mean, like 50 gets you. Man, awesome. Thank you, man. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jacob Viral. I do daily car audio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today. It was really clean in the front. Still working construction in the back. So a two 18s and a big sixth order. Might not seem that loud. He's still tuning and tweaking the amp as well. Probably was turned down slightly. But I got a demo of it after he added some power. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a like and uh, just give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, let me know in the comments what you think. Also, go ahead and give me some comment feedback on what you think about the build. So I uh, make daily videos. I hope you all enjoy the videos I do every day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shout out of the day. Do a shout out every day. Check out your channel. Today's going to go to Family of Leo. He's a new subscriber and he watches all my videos. Appreciate it, man. He asked for a shout out. So Family of Leo, appreciate you watching. There's your shout out, man. And good luck with your channel. So I got two things to talk about. But before that, just want to say uh, thanks everybody for always watching. And go ahead and if you haven't already, add me on Instagram and Facebook. I do uh, daily videos and I also post on there. So if you ever have questions... Ask in the comments as well as get with me on Instagram or Facebook, Jacob Viral. All right, so two things today before I end the video. First thing is tuning. Um, somebody asked, what is half an octave? Explain it if you could, man, in one of your videos a while back. So tuning with half an octave would mean 25 to 50, 30 to 60, 10 to 20, etc. So usually half an octave from the tuning would be one up. So for example, this sixth order might be tuned to 25 hertz and 50 hertz. So 25 is half of 50, which is half. So that's half an oct pretty much half an octave of the tuning. So normally, whenever you do ported case scenarios, you want to set your subsonic normally around half an octave from your tuning. So if that makes sense or not. So if you're tuned to 30 hertz, half an octave would be you drop it down to like 22 and a half, 23 hertz at a 30 hertz ported. Just as an explanation, there's a lot more on it. I might be wrong or right. Let me know in the comments. But that's pretty much a self-explanatory summary of it. Just Google it, what half an octave is as well. Um, next thing, low power versus high power. So how can I explain this in simplest terms? As you double power, you normally get twice as loud. So if you go from 3,000 watts to 6,000 watts, realistically, you'll probably go from like a 152 to a 155 dB. So around 2.5 to 3 dB louder every double in your power so that's not in every case scenario it's a lot easier to go from a 155 or a 150 to 155 than it is to go 155 to 160 so you might have five or six thousand watts for a 150 or one to 155 but when you're going into 160 it might take almost triple power to go from 155 to 160 instead of double so there's a lot of testing and tuning in there as well but uh, it's a lot harder as you get louder but in general if you go with the same system from low power to high power you're going to notice a huge increase in output. Obviously, it's common sense, but normally there's a range of saying, well, how do I know how much louder I'm going to go? If I want to double up on power or add amp, add an amount of output to your input, you can pretty much, in a statistical um, common sense analysis of how the systems work and react within a system, there's only so much output you're going to get from the subs. So if you're giving a 1,000 watts to 1,000 watt sub and you're going to go 2,000 watts, you're probably not going to get that much louder. Um, you might get a little louder on a burp, but in general, your subs are already maxed out. But if you got like a 3,000 watt sub and you're only giving it 1,000 watts and you went ahead and doubled it to 2K, you're going to get a huge gain output on that because of the motor can control and handle that power. So there's a lot of case scenarios in that. A lot of topics I can talk for an hour on subwoofer stuff. So that's all I got for the day. Um, appreciate you guys always watching. If you something I ever miss or mention that doesn't make sense, let me know. I'm learning as well. So stay tuned for video tomorrow. See y'all. Jacob Powell out.